Hi guys! So today we're going to be making a uh, wheel that goes on a ship for a nautical theme room I am planning on doing. And what it's going to be using is a styrofoam circle that I got from the Dollar Tree and some twine and also, um, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screwdriver, eight screwdrivers that I got from uh, Dollar Tree as well. They can come in a pack of like six, you just need two of those packs. Um, and it should be really cute. I'm planning on adding a few other decorations to it. I did see this on one of my groups, so I can't take full credit for it, but, um, I am doing it a little bit differently than the way that, uh, this woman did it. So I am, was very inspired and she didn't use any twine. She painted it white and blue. And so this time I'm going to, um, be adding a little bit more fun stuff to it to make it look a little bit more realistic and a lot more rustic. So let's get started. First of all, what you're going to do is you're going to take your uh, styrofoam and you're going to poke in the holes uh, for your screwdrivers or where they're going to go. And so it's really easy. Um, as you can see up here, all I did was take a screwdriver and stick it through the um, styrofoam and then it went all the way through to the other side um into the middle and so i'm going to show you if i can maybe so we're basically going to take it and then just screw it in and voila we have a steering portion of the steering wheel um, and so then you're going to take this one and go directly across from it and do the same thing to the other side. And so as you can see, I already did that and I got all these holes. And so then I took them out and I am now wrapping the actual wheel in twine um, for color. And as I'm going over the holes with the twine, I am marking them. Um, as you can see, that little brown spot right here that is where a hole is and I use just a marker so I know where to put the screwdrivers back in when I'm done and it blends in pretty well and um to the twine so I don't think it's going to stand out a lot and um it's just easier that way so once I get done with the twine I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing with the screwdrivers and see how it goes all right mm -hmm. now that I have twined up the circle for the uh wheel I went ahead and I spray painted the screwdrivers gold I think that would be pretty um, so right now I did the first side and then I'm going to flip them over and spray paint the other side and then I will start sticking them into the circle and gluing them in. And voila! Here we go. We have our gold screwdrivers and our twine uh, covered wheel. And so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the screwdrivers back into the wheel and get it looking like um a ship wheel again so i'm gonna go find the spots that i did that i marked where the holes are and i am going to stick the screwdrivers in and show you what it looks like and then i'm gonna have to secure it with some glue something bad happened <laughs> uh i had made the hole too close to the seam of of the um styrofoam and as I was putting in the third one it broke in half so I am going to have to get a little bit creative here and figure out how to fix this mess um yeah I'm pretty bummed <laughs> we'll see what we can do okay good as new nothing a little super glue and some uh, hot glue can't fix can't even tell that there was that issue so only you and I will know, but none of my guests that come in and see it on my wall. Um, but yeah, I think it covered up pretty good. Can't even see that there was really a crack there. Um, so moving on to the next okay, one. So I debated back and forth several times on what to put in the middle of my um, steering wheel. And what I ended up doing was going to Michael's and getting this 
wood block. It was tan. Um, I painted it brown and then I just took a um, paper towel and washed it off and it gives you the effect of it being a darker brown. Um, kind of like a, a stain but it's just paint and so um, you can still see like the wood uh, lines in there which I really like um, make it look a little bit more authentic just not like that tacky white wood I did try on this side to put like a white wash over the top to make it look a little bit more driftwoody but it just got rid of the marks that I liked and so I'm just gonna go with this side um, and put that in the middle I am thinking that I want to put a compass in the middle but I don't just want to glue this down um I think that will look really tacky so I'm going to come up with a way to either draw this myself on here or um convert it on there maybe Mod Podge I'm not sure I got to come up with some way to make this look nice um but I do like the idea of a compass on a wheel because I mean obviously the two and two go together another thought I had was to um put like a little mermaid on there too. Um, I think that would look really neat. Anyway, I gotta come up with a middle, um, what I wanna do, and then um, I'll show you guys what I decided and how I did it. Moment of truth, guys. I saw this on YouTube. You put acetone onto a paper that you printed from your printer and put it onto the wood. If you peel it off, then supposedly the ink will seep through and stick to the wood. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I have been pushing down on it. Um, but we'll see. Moment of truth. Let's find out. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. One, two, Oh, YouTube, you failed me. I'm disappointed. Ay, ay, ay. Um, I tried to put on the compass in the middle and it just was not working for me. I tried the acetone, I tried the Mod Podge, I tried um, the ironing on, none of it worked. And so what I ended up doing was um, sanding off all of my mistakes. <laughs> it took off part of the um, uh, paint that I had previously put on there. It actually gave it more of a weathered look and so I kind of like that a little bit more anyways. Um, and so I just ended up putting a cute little mermaid on here. Um, and I think it looks good. I might add a few other small details, but this is how it is ultimately going to end up looking. And I like it. I think it's cute. I think it'll look good on my wall and we'll see how, Mommy, um, love. what else I can do to it. Mommy. Sit. Love. Mm. Uh, Voila. Yeah. Here we go, here is the final product. I hang, hung it on my wall with all of my awesome nautical themed stuff. I have more coming, but um, here's what I decided to do. I have a beautiful mermaid with a pearl. I put Discover Wonder on there. I also put North, Northeast, East, and south and west and all of those good things all around them with um, some glitter glue and I think it turned out pretty good. I'm really happy with it. Um, even though there was a lot of setbacks and a lot of mistakes, I worked through them and I think the final result was really good. So I'm excited about it. Can't wait to see how my other products come out that I have in store. Thank you. Like and share.